Congratulations on your WatchNet NVR system purchase. This video is intended to be a quick overview of your live uh, view and playback of the system. So first we notice that we have four channels here in display and that is this setting here. You can change if you have more because some NVRs can have 16 channels and you can increase as you see here. In our case, we just have a couple of channels, a couple of cameras active right now. Over here, we have a plus. This can put this into full screen mode, so you can leave this uh, and watch as, as you want. You would just click to back out. You can click on an individual channel to make it full screen. And hitting the plus, we'll put it into a full screen mode. Next, we're going to talk about playback. If we click on the search button, you'll notice a calendar here on the right side and little dots on the dates. These dots represent dates that have footage saved to them. So if we're looking for something, say, on the 27th, we can click on it. We can select the cameras we want to see. And then we can see the timeline down here. So right now, we've got 24-hour recording on these channels, and we can see all hours of the day. But if we're curious to see motion activity only, we can check motion, and it will give us some points here. If we uncheck general, we can see these little yellow lines here that indicate that motion has been detected at these times. This is helpful in when you're trying to find a specific activity during the day. On this side on the bottom, we can see a file list and we have the channel selected, so the first channel. What this does is this helps us, rather than trying to click on each of these days, we can click on the time here and we can see what's happened at these times. Now, when only one camera shows up and not the other, it means there was no motion detected on that and there's no recording at that time specifically for motion detection. And as you can see, it's going through all of the times down here. We can hit play to see what happened. If we select the second channel, we'll have to stop. Click on the file list again, select on the channel two, and we can see the motion detection that happened on that channel. You can also lock files in the event that you can't save these files right now, but you know it's an important file to have by check marking the box and clicking this lock. This file will now not be deleted. We can double click on the file in order to enlarge it. When you want to see the full timeline here, but because it is 24 hours, it's kind of difficult to be a little bit precise with the time. You can click roughly where you want to watch. And over on this side, you'll see an option. You can shrink it down to just to show you 30 minutes of, of time. So it's a little bit easier to be a bit more precise. In two hours and so on. Another option that could be important is the sync option. If you don't have that checked, then you'll click on one channel 
and then on the other channel and they will be offset they won't be the exact same time so by synchronizing this wherever you click both cameras will follow to back out back to the live screen you just hit right click on the mouse And that's it.